Okay, before we install the Focus Atlas control software, we must uh, check if our computer configuration is matched for uh, Atlas printing. Must be sure the configuration is enough. So first we go to computer. Property, we check if the CPU the, the core must over 2.0 GHz for high speed. It's better to use the i7 4 core or 8 core. And the memory must over 8 gig. And the system Windows 7 or Windows 10 is, in, is okay, no problem. And also then the most important is we must be sure the network card must be giga network card because we need to use the internet cable to control the printer so how to check it so first we go to the internet We right click the icon, open the internet setting. We go to internet, internet option. We go to change the adapt option. And we find out the internet option. We go to property. Here, here we can see the speed. The speed here. So if the speed here show 1.0 G BPS. That means your computer network card is giga network. If the speed show 100 Mbps or 10 or lower Mbps, that means your internet network card is not giga. So you need to change the computer or refresh, update your computer configuration to the giga internet of the hardware of your computer. So we need to check this before we do the installation of the printer. Okay, welcome back. So this video will teach you how to install the control software and the RIP software for the Focus Atlas UV printer. So first, please check the package that go with the machine deliver. There's a USB flash go with the machine package. So just first insert the USB to your computer, and then you will got this a file named a folder named the Focus Atlas support. When you open it, here have uh, lots of information to get your installation. First one is the installation video, and also the user manual. And then the control software and the loop software and also some test print file. So this video will teach you how to install the control software and the loop software. Also do some setting. So first we do the installation of the control software. So first we open the control software folder. And here are two files. One is zipped, another one is not zipped. So we just uh, double click and choose the language by English and then apply next and choose the installation folder. Normally we just uh, install to the C dish disk, then next, and next, and next, and then install. Then click finish. Then we got the icon named the Focus Atlas 1311 icon 
on your desktop. And when we double click it, and if you choose allow, then we, we can see this kind of file that open. And now this control software is not connect with the computer, connect with the printer. So here we can see here show offline disconnection. So we need to insert the USB, uh, insert the Ethernet cable to your computer. Then we do some setting. Okay. Then after we install the control software, we need to do some uh, setting. Of, a, of our computer because the focus atlas we using the internet cable but not the USB cable we use the internet cable to connect the computer with the com with the printer so first we need to go to the computer we do some setting of the internet so first we go to internet we open the internet setting and we go to the the internet cable internet setting here and then we go to the change the adapter option and we find out we find out that the, the Ethernet connection option if your option is closed we must to open now it's closed we need to open And you need to remove the, the the internet cable from your computer right now. Then we go to property, and we find out the internet TCP/IP four option. Double click, and here we must input the IP address. First, the IP address. Here, maybe some different country have different IP address. For example, right now in China, we put 192.168.127.9. And, and automatic coming out for the U code. And then we put the default code. We put 192, 168, 127, and 1. And the next, we just keep as default by automatic empty. Then we click like to save it. Then we go back to check again. We set the IP address as, t as this from a computer. And uh, the TCP IP6, we keep no change. So remember, we just uh, change the TCP IP4 policy. Put the IP address as here. After that, we go back to the to the control software so if you are the first time to open the control software we need to do some setting of the IP address so first we go to the advanced option and we go to, go to the advanced and we find out the net setting here and we choose TCP option, and if we choose the first one, the internet model, and here we put the local IP address by that address we put before from the internet setting. So we go to again here, we find the property, we find the TCP IP4. We can find out the address here. So we put 
before we put it on the computer is 172.168.127.9.9. So we put M on the software. 1.8.192.168.127.9. And then we click set. Then we show the local host IP setting is successful. Then the IP address setting, the IP setting of the control software is finished. But you can see right now because we are the first time to open the control software and we not we not input we not connect the the instant cable, the net cable to the computer. So it's here show this connection. So here is all the procedure to install the Atlas control software and do the IP address setting to do the preparement job before we connect the printer with the software. Okay, before we uh, install the FoxRip software to the computer, we need to insert the USB key, the dongle key to the computer. So we find out the USB key from the package that we insert to the USB plug of the computer to be sure the light is on, like this. Then we start to install the Focus Rip software. Okay, after we insert the USB key to the computer, then we go to find out the Focus Atlas support folder. And we find out the RIP software. Here we have two different kinds of RIP. First is the focus RIP version. Another one, another one is the print factory RIP. And this RIP is calling to you optional purchasing. If you only bought focus RIP, then we will, you will only have focus RIP. If you have print factory, you will have print factory RIP. So which RIP for using is depend on the the purchase list that you bought from Focus. So first, uh, for example, we take Focus RIP. So we open the RIP file. We unzip the file to local, di local disk. And we double click to start the installation. First, we choose the language by English. We click yes. Next. We choose the, the installation folder that we want. We command you to take to install to the disk C. Yes. Then next. Next. We choose repair next. Then we choose finish and next. Then finish. Finish. After we finish the installation, and we will got one icon on the desk. And we just input the USB key to the computer and we open the RIP. It will show the focus rip. And first we go to the icon on the top 
left, we go to print setting. We choose the print model as recall GI model as default. If not, we just set as default. We choose this one. Keep be sure this model G G5i is as default. Then we go to exact. So here's the interface of the rip. Now this video will teach you how to install the Print Factory rip software. So first we open the Focus Atlas support folder for the USB flash. Then we can find that there are lots of information on the folder. Installation video, user menu, control software, and rip software and test print file. Now we find out the rip software. It have two rip, focus rip and print factory rip. So we open the print factory rip. Now here also have four folder, the software, license key, ICC profile, and using tutorial for some video and menu to get you how to use, how to setting, how to use the print factory rip, and also how to make ICC profile. But for the ICC making, it require more professional operation. So if you are not familiar with the, fact, the print factory rip and not familiar with the ICC making procedure, so please do not use it. Just use the default ICC profile from Focus and also use the ink that provided by Focus company. And also this print factory rip, it require the license key, the digital number, so each Print factor rip go with one special, unique, independent license key. One key only used for one rip software. It's not does not need the physical USB dongle key as the focus rip. So it's for regist registration from the internet, then using put the license key for using. So before we active the license, we first must install the RIP software. So we open the software and we double click the RIP. Then we choose extract and next receive the policy. Then we go to internet registration. So first here we show you to input the license key. So we go to the folder, license key here is the license key file. Please remember one key for one software. Here is our demo machine key, it's not used for you, use URIP software. So you need to find that the key that actually flash disk. We copy the key and we input to the diagram. And next, receive next. Here we let you to input to register the account, set up the account for the print factory. You can input your personal information.
and I set up the set up the password. For, for safety, you need to save it. Then we show you this license key is active, succeed, then click finish. Maybe click install. <coughs> this is for update software. From this step, you need to make your internet working. So after we install the print factory rip and we already download and update the print factory rip to the nearest version, then we we can see they have one, two, three, four, four icon on your computer belong to print factory rip. So we just use this one, the print factory rip, for printing. So we just uh, double click to open it. And we need to do some setting step by step. So first uh, we need to set up the output device. So we choose folder and we select. We can put this folder is used for backup the file to store the file after rip. So we can choose uh, disk, we can choose C or D that with bigger memory. For example, we put to D for to D or C. It's better to it's better for set up to D. So we set up as PF plus rip. And then we choose this folder. For setup for the folder for output device after rip. Okay, so after we already install the pre factory rip, then we need to do some setting for the preference ICC profile and the other setting. So we find out the print print factory icon, double click it. Then here we show, we can see the name, the focus G5i model for this brief model. And then we need to go to edit. We find out the restore preference. And then we choose props. And we go to find out the support, Atlas support folder. Go to rip software and the print factory rip. And we go to number three, restore preference option. And here we can see there's a file named backup focus atlas pf rip restore preference. We choose it, click open. And I choose yes. Then here we can see the setting all are restored back to the rip. So here we can see the setting of hard UV ink, soft UV ink, and for each material, like flat medium, high cube medium. The flat medium means the medium is flat surface. 
as glass, acrylic board, PVC board, or for flat media. And the high Q media is as the basketball bottle, drinking bottle, mugger, that media with high Q thickness. So we need to use the high drop blade size and use the different wave, print wave to print. And also each setting have different paths, a six pass and a four pass. The six pass is for high quality printing. But the speed is lower than four pass. The four pass is for high speed printing, but the printing quality is worse than six pass. So have, all have different setting for different material and also for different requirements. All the setting as I keep all the setting we are setting already before delivery. So do not have any change. And also you can right click to go to choose setup queen here. You can see all the setting belong to this kind of uh, preference as the printing size 1.3 times 1.1 meter and the profile standard as its profile all are we match already so not change so this the preference we need to load to the rip after we load the preference setting then we can start to rip the job so here we have a two kind of method to rip a job first we go to this kind of setting preference rip a file load a picture by this method so first we need to know what kind of media we need to we want to print. For example, right now I want to print a picture on the high cube media. I want to print a picture on the bottle or print on the high cube basketball. So the basketball is brown to high cube media. And I want to print with high quality. So I need to choose six parts, high cube media. And the basketball is hard material, but not soft material. So I choose high cube, hard UV ink, high cube media. After I choose this option, then we right click the mouse and choose add job. Then load picture. For example, I want to print a, a girl with white with varnish. On the basketball for sure so I choose this file with key format it's tip format this picture with white and varnish spot channel already by Photoshop so when we open the Photoshop this picture we can see here it have white and varnish spot channel already if you close we are not printed with white and varnish by spot channel. If you open, it will print with white and varnish as the image position you want. For example, this one, the white, or print with full square, and the more dark position print with more white ink. But for varnish here, only the black area with print varnish. The empty white and the base, we are no print any varnish. So after we set up ready the picture by Photoshop and we load to the rip up the re up the load it will automatically go to the top position zero position and also we can change the position size we choose this file we can pure to change different size position also we can put the position here and then the the image size I want to print, for example, I want to print with 200 millimeter. After we set the printing size, then we need to set the white special ink. So here, when we go to the white channel, the white spot channel already detected by the rib here with white and varnish WV that what we named from the rib here. So I want to print with white ink on white spot channel, W spot channel. So I just the white 
I choose W. And 100% white ink density. And varnish, I choose V layer. If by this way, you choose W and V, so all the white ink and varnish print position will according to the rib, according to the Photoshop that we set up the channel from here. But if I choose and color or and white or inverse density like this, then it will print only with the certain position of this setting, but not detect the special spot channel from Photoshop. So what kind of what kind of printing quality or result you want, you can set as you want. But we strongly recommend you to choose to process the picture from Photoshop first, then you can print any position with any wet or color or varnish as you want to get the better printing, printing effect. So after we set the spot channel and the sides, then from here we can see all the settings are set already as hot UV ink and the acid profile, the color standard all are loaded already as the preference. Then we just don't need to do any setting. Or we can do some uh, small setting from here, mineral printing or building printing. We minus one. For we, we put 0 0.1 for and for make sure the wet ink will not print overlap or varnish. Like this. Also have some special setting from here. After we setting, then we go to press submit to submit the file to the rib. So from here, then we go back to here. We can see the file already and the processing. So after rib, we can see the picture already. Process the ready finish com completed. Then we go to the the output folder. We can go to see here output folder. So we can see the all the file, all the history printing process the file all process ready with PRM file, PRP file. Then we load this file to the rip, uh, load the file to the control software for print. So this is the first method we process we rip the picture but if we want to do the setting by ourselves by customer side customer setting so we can go back this way we go to the left top plus icon press add in add job by this way then we load the picture we want to print for example this one So here we can set the size that this um, table size not in the change, but we can set the position, the size, acid profile. We can choose by ourselves the speed. Or we can set by ourselves like this, the color rapid result. And all the settings we can choose by ourselves. set up the file then then we submit we load the picture here and with setting submit then the file go to this position for processing Okay, so these two methods to rip the file from the preference area or from the left top, the left to other job. But we recommended you to set from here to rip right click other job from here because by this way it's more fast and it can prevent you do some wrong operation because all the preference we are setting already. 
Okay, so for for other operation, you can let you can go to the support folder. You go to loop software, and here have a lot of user manual tutorial video to teach you the other operation for the rip. And also have a user manual for that. And also if you are professional, you have the battery or, or I want the city, you can try to learn to make an ICC profile by yourself. But if you are you, you are fresh man, you are into into man, so we strongly recommend you to take the ICC profile that's already in the RIP, RIP software for safety. Okay, so this is all the procedure for installation and using for the printer factory RIP. Thank you.